Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There are numerous filters that you can apply to create different artistic effects in your images. You can access the filters through the filter command in the menu bar, or by selecting an effect from what's called the filter gallery that we'll be looking at in just a moment. You can use the drop down on the effects panel located over here. After clicking the filters button, which is the first button right here, and then using the drop down, of course, to select the different choices. After viewing your choices, you decide which one you want, give it a click, and then click the apply button. Now, when you do, you'll either open the filter gallery that we'll be looking at, or in this case, a simple dialog box will launch. In this case, we have just a couple of choices that we can change the effect here, and you can see in the preview what the effect does. So depending on the filter that you choose, you'll have different controls in these various dialog boxes. Again, some commands, for example, if we choose one of my favorites, Plastic Wrap, and click Apply, will launch the filter gallery. You can also launch the filter gallery directly by selecting Filter and Filter Gallery from the menu bar. Same thing. When you do, you'll see three different panels. Now, you'll notice that in this first panel we have a preview, and you can adjust your view of the image by using the controls at the bottom of this first panel. We have a little minus and plus button to change the view, or you can use the drop down menu like that. We'll put it back to 100%. Now the filter gallery allows you to apply some of the available effects independently or in layered combinations. You can click on one of the names of the effect groups which appear as folders over here. The folders have little triangles next to them which you can click on to expand and collapse the different choices, just like that. When you expand them, you said then simply click on your choice, and you'll see over in the preview pane what it looks like. After you click on one of the filters, you then use the various sliders, color boxes, and drop downs that appear to change the settings of the selected effect over here in the right pane. So again, these controls will change depending on which filter you select. We'll go back to the sponge. Now note that at the bottom of the right pane down here, in this area, that you see the name of the filter which appears in a layer. Now you can add another layer to multiply the effects by clicking the new effect layer button at the bottom of the right pane, right there. That will add another layer that you can then click to select. You can click on these just like you can click on any other layers. When you do, then you just simply choose another filter to apply that. Now, just as with our regular layers, you can click and drag the layers above or below other effects to change the overall effect produced. So they work in quite the same way. Now you can also delete an effect layer by simply clicking on it to select it and then clicking the Delete Effect Layer button at the bottom here, which looks like a little trash can. Now, when you're finished applying the effects, which of course we can preview over here in the left pane, you click OK to apply the effects to the selected layer. Now, note that the effects are not actually added 
as layers that appear in the Layers panel, but rather they are applied to the selected layer contents directly. Many of the other filter effects that you can apply are not able to be applied through the filter gallery. You actually have many more effects than you can set by using the filter command in the menu bar. Make sure that you have the correct layer selected over in the layers panel before you apply filter effects. Remember that if you do make a mistake when you apply a filter, that you can use the history panel to reverse your mistakes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.